guys, I hope you can see me okay. She is just sitting here being so good playing. She's starting to sit up by herself and all. So for her seventh month video, I was like, we gotta get this done really quick. So, so I was like, I'm just gonna try to put it and angle it so you can see her and me. And she's just sitting here playing really good. She loves to sit up. I still put the bumbo. This is not bumbo, this is the bobby pillow around her but first tell them so you're seven months old I cannot believe she's about seven and a half months old and she's just doing awesome as you can tell she loves sitting up now except for she will go forward after a little while or she'll end up flipping over on this thing but i just put this here just in case I feel like the girls at this point were more, or she's, I feel like where she's at right now is mostly like around six months of age as far as like starting to sit up and everything. Because the girls I thought were sitting up good and starting to crawl around by seven to eight months. And I don't think she's going to be crawling for a little while. So, but she might go straight to standing because she loves to be standing up like in her loves to be standing up in her extra saucer or in the little bouncy thing in the doorway or just like holding her standing up she just loves to be standing up so i don't know what she's gonna end up doing next after sitting up but she loves sitting here with toys around her and playing and all of that so oh. <laughs> you tell them tell them yeah yeah babies so but, and she also gets, like, really excited sometimes when the girls will be down here playing with her, too. But she'll just, like, get so excited and, like, kind of fall back like that. Just, like, from being so excited to this thing really helps. So, she's waiting now, but she's still staying little. Like, this outfit is three months. But, like, the arms, you can tell, are getting, like, a little short on her. So, but the six-month stuff is, like, way, still way big. So, she's, like, in the middle right now from the like the three to six month stuff actually fits her the best but i go between three months three to six month stuff and then probably another month i would say give her another month and then she might be a little bit bigger to get into the six months clothing so it's so crazy though because the girls they were getting chunky by this time and they were already in probably like nine months stuff at six months so anyways but it's a lot of fun to have a little one and i really feel like maybe she's like meant to be and supposed to be staying little because I don't know she's our last one I just like cherish every little moment for being a little baby and I just don't want her to grow up too fast and I just love her being the little, little babies so yeah we're hoping to go maybe a little beach trip soon so I've got to try to get out our summer stuff and hopefully I'll have a, a bathing suit that will fit here at this age so I don't know because both the other girls, they were getting bigger by the time it came around summer time. So, I don't know if I have one that will fit her. But, anyways, um, she's eating really good. Her schedule is, let's see, she goes to bed at 9, about 9, every night. She's an 8 ounce bottle at 9, goes to bed. I'll feed it to her and rock with her and she usually will fall asleep and they'll lay her down. Um, but even if she doesn't fall asleep and she's still kind of awake, if I slowly, you know, walk her in there, if she likes her a little lamb like this, I'll put um, near her face. She's got a passy. Sometimes she might cry out and I'll give her a passy again and she's out. So that's usually her bedtime routine. I mean, other than like the bath and everything, I'll get to that. But I wanted to start there because I know she goes to bed around 9 every night. But then during the day, her schedule is a little different. Depending on what time she gets up. Like this morning, she didn't get up to almost 10. Uh, and then some morning she gets up at 7 when I'm getting the girls ready for bed. So she gets up weird crazy hours in the morning anywhere from 7 to 10 she gets up in the morning sometimes she sleeps in sometimes she's up real early it really just depends so she gets to sit out the bottle in the morning and then usually by lunch time depending on what time she gets up she has her baby food a thing of baby food still the first stage and then she's like love a baby food now like she's eating like really really good i'll try to insert a little clip here if i remember to and i'll add in some rice cereal formula with it and mix it up so it fills her up a little bit more and then and then she'll have that and sometimes she'll have like a four ounce bottle and then sometimes she don't it just depends on 
you know, how it goes. And then sometimes it's like an hour later, she'll kind of sit and play in the high chair for a little while, and then she'll start getting fussy, and then I'll give her a little bit of a bottle. And then usually she's ready to take a little nap then. And she doesn't take long naps, though. She takes like sometimes a 10 minute nap, sometimes an hour nap. Hour nap just really depends. Her schedule is not very on track. She kind of just does her own thing. Bless you. Um, but anyways, I usually go back and forth between like eat, her eating a six ounce bottle and then having a thing of baby food. But I think soon she's going to go up to the two second stage of baby food. Um, oh yeah, if you notice my hair is like pinky sheet, it's like the rose, ro I did like a rose gold toner if you've seen in our daily vlogs recently. I'm really liking it though. I like it a lot. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it like this for a while, but I'll probably go back to blonde before we go on like our summer trips and stuff. We'll see. Anyway, so let's see. So then after her nap, she usually gets up and is ready for a bottle, another six ounce bottle. And then like a few hours later, she'll eat her baby food and then she might take another little nap. And then usually I try to keep her up in the afternoon. So after that nap, but sometimes she'll take a little nap. She takes like two or three naps during the day, like short naps. And then dinner time, she has her baby food, a little bit of bottle, either at the same time, kind of like lunch, or about an hour later. And then we start bath time and bedtime routine, like her bath, lavender lotion, I do the gentle baby oil and the cup of bee, I think that's what you call it, on her jawline for her teeth. It's like crazy. She chews on stuff so much, drools so much, she still has no teeth yet. And the girls, I think, both of them had teeth by six months, so... I don't know, I think soon, so she's about a month behind, since so she was a month early, she'll probably get into teeth within the next couple of weeks, I bet. So, stay tuned in the daily vlogs, because I'll probably be vlogging that. And, what else, girlfriend? What else have you been doing? Oh my goodness, you got some boogers. I love to the saucer, like I said, she stays in there a lot, because she loves to just bounce it on there. She still swings, and like her little swing that's back here behind me. But not a whole lot, and then she sits in the bumbo seat still. But she likes to do this a lot now. Um, and two, because whenever she does end up falling over one way or the other, she's kind of on, ends up being on her belly, and then she kind of looks like she's maybe trying to crawl a little bit. But I don't think she's going to quite yet. She doesn't hardly have any hair still. Um, the girls had enough hair on top, like to put a little clip at hers. It's just now coming. I feel like it is starting to grow a little bit, but not a hair lot. Yet, yet, yet. Their sisters to play with her. She likes a lot of attention now. Huh. She knows now when I walk out of the room that's one big change at seven months. Because before I could walk out of the room and she wouldn't cry or anything, but now it's like she, if I get up from sitting or if I'm doing something in the kitchen and I go into the bathroom to come back, she'll like start fussing if, I, if I'm going too long into the bedroom and come back. She just like wants me to stay with her all the time. And she's starting to like to be held a lot more too. And I mean, it's just a lot of fun. I love having three girls. I really do. Absolutely love having three girls. I wonder, we were just talking about how much is going to change in like a year. When she's like a year and a half, Claire will be four and a half. Kinsley will be. And life will be crazier and fun too. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!